Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of our discussion on Precalculus. We are still talking about the application of linear equation in one variable. We are done with the number problems and for this video we are going to talk about geometry problems and geometry problems usually involve areas perimeters or relationships between parts of the given shape so we will be talking or computing or solving two problems for this video one for rectangle and one for triangle but of course geometry problems are not limited to just rectangle or triangle you should have basic understanding of all the common shapes used in geometry such as squares, uh, the properties of a right triangle, a circle, and uh, the like. Okay, so before we proceed to our first example, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let us go to our first example. If a rectangle has a length that is 3 centimeters less than 4 times its width and its perimeter is 19 centimeters, what are the dimensions? Okay, just like in the previous examples on the number problems, we are given statements here, uh, two statements to be exact, and uh, it's asking for the dimensions of the rectangle. Okay, so before we proceed with the solution, it's very common na kailangan nating i-drawing yung figure. Okay, so we are given a rectangle. So, a rectangle is a four-sided polygon, tama? Uh, two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of parallel and equal sides, tama? Okay, so... The first statement says that the length is 3 centimeters less than 4 times its width. Okay, that is a statement relating the length of the rectangle to the width of the rectangle. Okay, so ang statement na yan is actually talking about the length in terms of the width. Okay, so since yung statement na yan is uh, parang ini-equate yung length uh, in terms of width. Ang ilet x natin yung width. Okay? So, our representation for our variable will be, so, let x be equal to the, be the width of the rectangle. Okay? And based from the first statement, we are going to come up with a mathematical expression as our uh, denotion for the length of the rectangle okay so the length is three centimeters less than four times its width so four times the width minus three right so that's four x four x minus three so this is the length of the rectangle so if, if this is the length right uh that is the length this is the width okay so, the perimeter of a rectangle is just equal to twice the length plus twice the width. That's the sum of all the sides of the rectangle. Okay? So, equating it to 19 centimeters because the given perimeter is 19 centimeters. That's uh, dalawang width. That's x plus x or 2x. And then, dalawang length. So, that's 4x minus 3 plus another 4x minus 3 and the perimeter is equal to 19 centimeters okay all units in centimeter and then we perform the algebraic operations for this one to solve for x so we have x plus x plus 4x plus 4x that's 10x okay uh, and equal this is equal to 19 we have minus 3 and minus 3 on the left side of the equation if we transpose this to the right side of the equation it becomes plus 6 so 19 plus 6 is 25 and then we divide both sides by 10 divide both sides by 10 therefore x is equal to 
centimeters. Okay, now that is the width of the rectangle. So to solve for the length, we have 4x minus 3. Okay, so 4x minus 3 is 4 times 2.5 minus 3. Okay, so 4 times 2.5 is equal to 10, 10 minus 3. So that's 7 centimeters. Okay, so to answer the problem, what are the dimensions? So the, the, the dimensions... Okay, we can read the uh, uh, length is equal to 7 centimeter and width equals 2.5 centimeters. Okay, so that's our conclusion. So that answers the problem for this example. So let us answer one more problem involving geometry. So for this example, we are going to talk about a triangle. Okay, so the longest side of a triangle is twice as long as the shortest side and two centimeters longer than the third side. If the perimeter of the triangle is 33 centimeters, what is the length of each side? Okay, so uh, we know that a triangle is a three-sided figure, right? A three-sided polygon, okay? Something like this. Okay, so the first statement says that the longest side of a triangle is twice as long as the shortest side. So that's a relationship between the longest side and the shortest side. So we can actually write uh, our representation here. So we let x okay it's up to you kung ano ang gusto mo you can represent the longest side or the shortest side as x okay but uh, for this example i'm going to represent x as the shortest side shortest side okay and the first statement says that the longest side of a triangle is twice as long as the shortest side therefore that's 2x. Twice the shortest side is 2x. This is the longest longest side. Okay? How about the third side? Okay? So the second statement says that the longest side of the triangle is also 2 centimeters longer than the third side. This means that the third side is two centimeters shorter than the longest side right so if the longest side is 2x and we know that the uh, third side is two centimeters shorter than the longest side therefore we can represent the uh, third side as longest side 2x minus 2 okay this is the third side so now, we now have our representation for the three sides of the triangle. So we have x, 2x, and 2x minus 2. Okay. And then what is our equation? Let us look at the, sec at the next statement here. The perimeter of the triangle is 33 centimeters. That means if we add all the sides of the triangle, we will get 33. So that's uh, if x plus 2x plus 2x minus 2, the third side, is equal to 33. Okay? So we combine like terms, that's x plus 2x plus 2x, that is 5x. Okay? So 33 plus 2 transpose minus 2 to the right side that's 35 okay and then we divide both sides by 5 therefore x is equal to x is equal to 7 okay this is actually our shortest side right the unit is centimeters x is equal to 7 centimeters okay and then 2x 
the longest side is just equal to 2 times 7 which is equal to 14 centimeters and the third side is 2x minus 2 which is equal to 14 minus 2 which is equal to 12 centimeters okay so to answer the problem what is the length of its side we can conclude the length of the sides of the triangle the length of the sides or lengths of the side of the triangle are 7 centimeters 14 centimeters and 12 centimeters okay so that is our answer for this problem